Hi there, welcome to Daily Monster 91. Let's see. I'm almost out of some of these inks. But not all. I'll take a little risk. Instead of the blue, I'm going to put in a little bit of black, which tends to become very messy. But, let's see what happens. Because sometimes it's quite nice. I like this shape. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I can kind of, I have immediately some thoughts. Okay, I'm going to let this dry for quite a while, I suspect, and then we'll see what we get with this. And that is dry. What are we doing here? You know, beak, bird, no. Thinking for a moment to do another one of those where I'm doing this as the hair and this becomes the face and this is sort of the, the hair framing the face. But we've done that and in some ways it's a, I don't know, it's kind of, it's a dodge. There's some odd little, you know, this could be, a, the face could go here and this could be a sort of an odd, Sluggy, slug like body. I can't quite figure it out. So the thing that I'm sort of seeing is this is the nose. So let's launch into it and see where we get. I'm going to try something that I've sort of neglected a few times with the. Um, with doing the eyes uh, as, a, as a negative because the way, I, the way I used to do it would be that I'd draw the full eye and um, then I'd use black and go over it to create an angry eye or a sad eye or something like that. But with this, I'm going to have to do it a little bit differently, obviously. And I often don't. Often, I, I'll draw the whole eye. And um, that's when I sort of find the mood and the expression of the character. So it, it really lends itself. The method of doing it with the black ink, of adding the, the eyelid or a frown or a sad eyelid droop or something like that really lends itself to that but um, with this you have to really be deliberate about it or I have to anyway you don't have to do anything you don't want to do it's different it feels different the pupil placement is a little bit different one that I have to, I may go in with a little bit of black after this and um, and fix it some. I gotta tell you, when it comes to drawing, I like an underbite. I really do. And here's a thing that the black ink really lets you do very nicely. It lets you change the shape just a little bit without a whole big to-do. 
how to cut something out or any of that. You know, you just get that. And it's just nice. Um, let's see. I don't think I'm going to do anything to the feet. I think the feet are just going to be these little, little doohickeys. I could add shoes, but I like the elegance of just having it come out of the blonde. What shall we do for the arms? I think I'm going to do, do a little bit of a color contrast. I might do some saffron arms. Now, can I do it without screwing up? History says no, but again, today could be the day. Turn it all around. Just, yeah. It's just pissed off bald fisk monster. That's this monster's deal, man. And because it's black ink, very easily. Just this position. Oh, see, I'd forgotten how nice this is for cheating. It's so nice for cheating. I love it. Uh, I mean, there was a really valid reason for why I kept using the black ink ex exclusively for all those years. Because it was really, really efficient for this sort of thing. Um, yeah. But then I discovered all this color stuff. That's so nice and addictive. That's hard to let go. But there was a good reason for the black. Yeah, look at that. That's right. And stay out is what it might be saying. Um, I'm going to be relying obviously on your theories on this entirely um, I want to add any little sort of glossy bits oh, maybe just because it's fun but I don't want him to have a shiny nose it would be the most obvious thing would be to put a thing here but not gonna, not gonna. And you know what? I'm gonna leave the, I'm gonna leave the hands alone too. I kind of want to noodle around in there a little bit, in here, and sort of make the bald fists a little bit more obvious. Even though I did paint them with some care to be bald fists, as you can see. But uh, I'm gonna leave it for once. 
I'm just going to say. That's it. Um, and pretend like I've learned a lesson. I'll never make this mistake again. But of course I will. You know I will. Uh, possibly tomorrow. Possibly for Daily Monster 92. But this is Daily Monster 91, isn't it? It is. It is Daily Monster 91. And I will see you again. Hopefully, if you're so inclined for Daily Monster 92. Thanks for your time.